Good morning, everybody on YouTube. This is Rick Thomas from Obsolete Video Services. We are doing a restoration on the uh, VR7500 by Ampex. And I did get a lot of emails. Actually, I've gotten about four emails about this. And this has got to be the hardest thing about fixing very old, old video equipment. Uh, it's, it's, it's gotta be the hardest thing in, in, in my travels, as far as working on, uh, obsolete video equipment is the belts. The rubber belts are always the hardest thing about fixing these machines. They're not made anymore and you gotta be very lucky. Sometimes you gotta be extremely lucky in some cases. Um, I've been getting belts like off eBay at some point for various different things and that's kind of drying up because there's not a whole heck of a lot of certain size belts that you need. Um, recently, I just went to an auction in Phoenix, Arizona. It was an old uh, television VCR broadcast repair shop. Uh, it's been closed for many, many years. This place was like Dracula's castle. I am not kidding you. You should have seen the inside of this place. I've never seen such a dirty, it closed up environment, television, stopped in time type of place in my life. All these vintage video, uh, VCRs, video equipment, like VCRs, old Betamaxes, um, very old TV sets, you know, from the 80s. Uh, it, it was an actual repair shop. Uh, I had a call from the son of the owner who said his dad passed away several years back. They own the building, it's been closed up, and they just kept it as storage until they got around to wanting to clean the building out. Well, they cleaned the building out, they called me and they were wondering if I wanted to pick through the stuff that they had. It was a pretty big repair shop. It was, uh, it was about 1,400 square feet. It was a pretty big, big shop. Anyways, I was never more dirty in my life than crawling through this place. This place was filthy. And it's been sitting, he says it's been closed up since the mid 87, 88. It's been closed up for years. The family didn't do anything with the building. They just let it sit there. Uh, so recently they're getting to the point where they're going to sell it to a place who wants to make it into a brewery or something like that. Some type of spot for uh, you know, a liquor, you know, like a lounge or something like that. I don't know what it is. They got a big offer for this building. So he saw my YouTube pages, videos, and I have to say, my YouTube page is exploding, people. Thank you so much. I'm getting a lot of subscribers, and you people are all just very, very kind with your responses. And um, anyways, it's nice to see people dig what I'm doing. But anyways, he, he was surfing on YouTube one night. He saw my video page. He realized I lived here in Santan Valley, and this particular building is in Phoenix. So I, anyways, guys, I went there. He says, pick Take whatever you want, pick through it, all this stuff, look through everything, whatever you want, you can have it. It's free, no charge, take what you want. So I did get quite a few things and uh, I went for the parts area, first of all, because they have boxes of parts, uh, yeah, boxes, all kinds of parts. That stuff I took, because that's stuff you always need. But here's a perfect example of being very, very lucky. I'm fixing the VR7500, right? This machine takes special belts. They're round belts. Here's a whole package of round belts that I did grab of various sizes. They're like new. They were still in the Ziploc bag. They're not cracked. They're not old or wore out. These are brand new belts that he bought in a gigantic package at some time. This saved my butt because you can't find belts for this unit. It's very, very hard, uh, especially the size. Sometimes you have to have them custom made, whatever. I don't like going through a ton of work on something. If I could just get access to it and be able to pop it on and be done with it, that's the way I want to do. I'm sure I could get belts made or really, really do some research and find belts, which would take a ton of time probably. But this guy had a whole package of round belt, all various sizes. And, and all this thing takes is two different belts inside of it. I do have to change them. But I want to point out, guys, if you're going to do vintage video repair, you need belts. Do the best you can, go on eBay, shop, some electronic shops, you might get lucky enough to find something you need. Belts are a real issue with these machines, especially some of these really old machines. And once you change them out, you'll probably never have to touch them again. But belts are a real plus when you're trying to restore these vintage video machines. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. When it comes to parts, I get people asking me all the time, where do you get them? I get them from almost everywhere. Auctions, old shops that closed up, estate sales. I, I get my stuff from almost everywhere and anywhere. That's, that's the only way you can do it in this day and age. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.